Welcome back guys to a new Boomish video and today is very important because we are finally about to achieve rank 19 here if we do manage to win our next attack. So fingers crossed for that. Let's go ahead and see that we are at about 20 seconds there away from our next uh, regular chest. And I was just thinking there I might be the only person in warships this season that still has not managed to unlock the rockets by choice of course so let's keep moving forward let's see what we want to do today i want to unlock this troop damage node we want to max out this one first and then any upgrade tokens that's left over hopefully i will be able to use it to max out the barrage there and then after this we want to go over here i want to of course pick the troop damage i'm sort of going all in on troop damage and then what I want to do is, since no one else is, of course, using bombardiers, let's put our keys towards the next end room. This is going to be two days of chest collecting, so that's going to be taking, that's going to be quite a long while, guys. And hopefully, I can make my way over here. We're going to go down here to the building damage node, and then we'll finally be able to grab a couple of more defenses there, which should help. And then after that, we'll go up, of course, over there. We'll grab some bombardiers. We'll grab, you know, we'll start backfilling after that. But so far as the next engine deck layout, it is pretty nice. Let's take a look at the top player over here. And let's go to global. And someone over here should be in the top over here. And no, this guy is not at the top. So let's scroll all the way up higher and higher until we get someone to the very top. Global number one is, of course, at the very top. Let's hope that one of these guys is at the last deck end room. And still not at the last one yet, guys. Let's keep going up here. But it is, it does have a smaller landing area, which I definitely like. And it is definitely an interesting deck layout. So let's go all the way up, guys, to the very top person. And there we are, 50, 40, 10. And let's go ahead over here. And yes, so I definitely like that this area is small there to land the troops. This area is very small over here as well. They're regular size. And then you have to force yourself up to walk all the way to the very back of the deck, no matter where you land over here. So I definitely like that about it. And yeah, so this, this deck layout definitely seems like it will be good for either bombardiers uh, could definitely attack this base layout but of course this season is all about the rock choppers so without any more delay let's hop into it hopefully we will we will be able to uh, grab the win here we have been using captain rudy there hopefully that keeps working out for us let's go ahead and see what's going to happen so i'm going to drop drop over the captain on this side he'll go up here and hopefully we can use a couple of bombing ones right there to take out some of those defenses and help us along the way so let's drop those guys there drop this guy down here and we'll drop three with those guys of course now we'll drop four on the four on that side and then only two should be required over here let's throw down some critters over here of course we don't want the heavy chopper to die straight away so we'll chalk those guys and i think let's sh critters on that doom cannon yes just about got it there so now it is distracted Okay, so these guys should be absolutely fine there. Let's go ahead and start worrying about these guys. We'll do our first bombing run right there. And hopefully, let's shock those guys. And he didn't die, so nice. Let's keep going again. And this should be a decent bombing run right here. He's going right into the heart of all these defenses there. Lovely stuff there. And we do also have max barrage here as well, so which we should start using. I'm going to activate another bombing one in a second here. And there it is. That's activated there. He's going to be able to grab that engine as well. And let's get ready to flare. And the opponent has already taken us out. But we did actually get a super nice time. 2 minutes 51 seconds. So hopefully we can grab the win. Yes. Lovely stuff there. So super nice. Let's go back. 15 extra stars from that as well. Plus this rank chest. Super happy about that. Let's go ahead and see if we're going to unlock anything else. Um, let's max this one out. Help us with the barrage. And now I'm going to start collecting for the next end room, guys. So I want to keep going in there. 
when I get this building damage, of course, some more defenses. The, the, the deck layout is super nice as well. I think you're definitely going to have an advantage once you go over there. It's only six days left, so we if we don't start saving up for our next engine right now, we may not really be able to unlock much nodes after that. So fingers crossed here. Rank 19, 19. Let's do the same thing again. We'll drop one right there. One over here. We'll drop two on this side. It, we don't really need much rock choppers on this side. Most of them needs to go over there. We'll drop down critters there. And that should be fine. Those guys should be no issues right there. We'll activate our first bombing run here in a second. Let's see what's going to happen. No, that's not a very good angle right there, unfortunately. So, And he got taken out there. Darn it, I should have shocked him. Okay, so that's going to definitely kill our time by a couple of seconds there. Since we can't activate any more bombing runs. Let's do some critters over there. Okay, we've got to keep, keep the rocket choppers alive. Luckily, there isn't any more single shot defenses. The doom cannon is gone. We've got these nasty critter launchers to, to worry about though. So, let's start now. I won't use barrage just yet. Let me see. I want to sort of flare myself over there. And then we're going to try and start doing... Quitters. Oh, we just about got the shock right there. Okay, so let's aggressively flare. I think they should have plenty of damage to be able to take out the engine there. Shock and barrage there. And let's try and grab the win. If we can get stable of 2 minutes 40, lovely stuff. I think 2 minutes 40 and above, definitely super nice. 2 minutes 50 is pretty much a guaranteed win, I would say. So let's take a look at what the time he got. And 2 minutes 37 there, guys. So super nice, happy about that. He did a split drop as well, we can see there. And let's try and keep this going. So we're on a win streak here, so we'll definitely grab those extra stars. And lovely stuff there, 15. Let's keep going here, let's grab this guy. And we're still going to be collecting that. Let's see, if, do we want to upgrade smokes? We're not, we're not dropping any mech kit. Smokes is fine at 11 there. If we want to build up some heavies underneath the smoke there. I'm not going to upgrade anything else. We're not going to use Cryoneers ever in this season. No Sergeant Brick. Kavan has been useful there. But I'm going to try and stick with Captain Rudy for now. Since he seems to be getting us quicker times. So yeah. I'm going to be about two days worth of chest collecting here. We're on a small 6x win streak. So I'm pretty happy about that. Let's keep going here. We'll just do one or two more attacks here. Uh, drop down one over here and we can drop down two straight away since these aren't single shot buildings uh, they won't damage us too much and there it is okay let's shut down critters on that doom cannon and lovely stuff what's gonna happen here oh dear let's do a shock on that and there it is the shock just about got there guys so most of these guys are coming over here so i don't like that um not a good position for them and we lost that rocket chopper on the left hand side and we lost another rocket chopper darn it let's do a shock on that what is it targeting okay so let's activate a couple of bombing ones here captain rudy might die here oh this this attack is not looking too good guys um should we regroup i think we uh, yeah i think that's we have to regroup here that's going to cost us a couple of more seconds too Captain Rudy is dead, so we can't use any more bombing runs. We simply have to brute force our way through every single defense here right now. And I can already tell you we're going to lose. We're at that 2 minutes 50 mark. We should have been on our last two engines at least by this time. So not great. Let's do... to wait a few more seconds here. If we drop down critters, there's too much blast damage. So, yeah, not great, guys. Let's drop down critters on that guy. Oh, no, we're going to lose that rock chopper there. And there it is. Wow. So this attack fell apart pretty quickly, guys. Once I saw these guys were uh, coming over here, I knew that we weren't going to win. Uh, let's flare on to that guy. So they're already on it, but come on. Let's do max barrage there, and we'll flare. No, if we flare... Okay, so this was terrible. Let's flare. Come on. Once again. I'm not sure what's taking him so long. Maybe he doesn't have too many uh, troops left. If we win this, oh my god, I'd be so chuffed there. 
So 2 minutes 58. Let's take a spectate here if we can. No, we won it. Nice. Let's take a look at what happened. He must have fizzled on us there because he was on our last engine. I was pretty sure that we were going to lose here. Let's take a look at what happened. Okay, he, he probably lost his captain early on here. Let's see what's happening here. Okay, let's just do a 2x speed. He's on the last half of the Let's see what happens. Good there. That was pretty good. He's got three rocket choppers left, two rocket choppers now. Captain Rudy is still doing his bombing run here. And he's flying to the last one. He lost his rocket chopper. He lost Captain Rudy. And then, wow. So that early flare, guys, killed him there. He got targeted by these uh, cannons and boom cannons at the very back. So that's nice. We'll just do one more here. Okay, guys. So we did manage to win our next attack there. And we did grab that win. So that's super nice. That puts us at a massive 8x win streak. I'll just show you my attack right there. Uh, we got 2 minutes 49 compared to his uh, 2 minutes 31 seconds, I believe that was. Let's go ahead and take a zoom in a tiny bit and we'll just put it up at 2x speed. So I did bring in 3 heavy choppers right here just because I needed to split them up and I did not think 1 heavy chopper at each side would have been enough. So down here you can see I do activate uh, the bombing one right there a couple of times just to destroy that cluster of defenses. Unfortunately, they do all target their way all the way up over there where I don't really want them at the very top. And then we do a Hail Mary flare to the very end. A couple of shocks here, uh, ignoring all the defenses. Another shock and flare there and we just about managed to get away with the win right there. So that was our time. Let's see how the opponent did in our one, our base. 2 minutes 31. Let's do a 4x speed. And it's very surprising that we are managing to stay competitive even without having uh, rockets unlocked. So let's take a look at what happened over here. Critters there. The blaster is doing a pretty nice job, I must say. So let's see what's happening. We'll just do a spot, uh, pause. We'll do a 2x speed. He's at, he's at the last half of our engine here. Let's take a look what's happening there. I think that Doom Cannon is going to be able to take out his... Uh, Captain, I think. No, he's not. Okay, so he's he's smoking there. And uh, no, so it was just a general slow attack against my base. So that's fine. So I'm happy about that, guys. We're simply going to be collect collecting chests for tomorrow for the next engine. We're going to ignore the bombardiers uh, for right now. So guys, that's going to be it from me today. Let me know how you guys are getting along. And, do and don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. I'll see you guys tomorrow.